Hello everyone! So, it's been a while. <laughs> um, yeah, it's been a long while and I'm sorry, but I actually have a good reason this time. I moved out of state and not only that, but I'm on my own and I have my own apartment and I do have my dog with me so if you hear her tags from her collar jangling she's trying to get comfortable hopefully now that she's laid down she'll be quiet but yeah I had all that happen and basically it was a super quick whirlwind situation of well, long story short I got certified to be a medical coder I was applying for jobs, not just in my city, but after about a month of that, I went to all over Texas, and after about a month of that, I got frustrated and I went to the company I'm certified through, and they have a job postings. My goodness, my shoulder itches. <laughs> and so I went to their job postings, and they had a job listed in Michigan, and I recognized where it was, and I was like, I have family in that area and I've been there and so after seeing all that and realizing I know where it is and all of that I just thought why not I'll apply it's I I was just so frustrated with getting no after no after no because the thing with not only the city I was living in but especially the city I was living in but also just Texas in general and a good portion of the South, like Texas, Louisiana, I don't know about Mississippi. I just, I have this thing against Mississippi. Sorry, Mississippi. It's the humidity. I can't do it. Um, <laughs> I, but I know for a fact that Texas and Louisiana and uh, Arizona and I think New Mexico as well like those four, for sure, have a fairly decent population, I guess, of people who have a medical background or are in the medical field or whatever it might be. And so I just kept applying and applying and applying and applying and I kept getting no, 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 or no response or sorry, we've decided to go with someone who has experience even though the job was listed as entry level, no experience required. So I was frustrated and I thought, you know what, I know where this is and not really thinking too much about it because I, can, I can't overthink things. I think we all know that. but. <laughs> I applied for the job on a Wednesday, then on that same week, that Friday, I got a phone call and a few preliminary questions were asked and then a Skype interview, well, FaceTime technically, but you know, a face-to-face -face interview was set up and then I had my interview that following week Wednesday, so a week from when I applied. And I thought it went really well, but I was still thinking they're not gonna hire me because not only am I not in the state, I'm in Texas. So it's not like I'm in Indiana or Ohio or Illinois where I can move somewhat easily. I'm a good 21, 22 hour drive away? Possibly more than that. I think actually more than that. Anyway, it's a pretty long drive. I was proven wrong because I had my interview around nine and then later that afternoon <laughs> around 2.30, 3 o'clock, I got a phone call and they offered me the job and it's kind of incredible how it all worked out because I got the job and during the interview they said, how, long, how soon do you think you can get up here? And I said, probably two weeks. They said, well, we want you to start in two weeks. So I had my interview on one Wednesday and then 
two weeks to the day, also on a Wednesday, I started my job. So that was kind of fun. But the crazy thing was, um, after doing some research, I, uh, my parents and I, we found an apartment complex that looked really good and contacted them and they said, well, we have a one bedroom, but it won't be available until end of November, which would be pretty much a month later from when I started my job. And they said, but we also have a two bedroom, which is available now. And after talking it through with my parents, I decided to get the two bedroom just to prevent further stress of having to like figure out where I would be in that month period. And then we found out the apartment accepts pets and I was able to bring Pele with me. For those of you who don't know, Pele's my dog. It's been super crazy, but like I said, I've been super blessed. That's where I've been. I've been busy moving and getting adjusted to my job and settling in somewhat and <laughs> yeah it's been kind of madness so but I'm back <laughs> so as far as what's coming up for the channel I know there were several pod several <laughs> so as far as the channel goes I know there were several panning projects that I had either posted an intro video for or an intro and one update or whatever it might have been. I know there were a few of those that the finale date has come and gone. And so for those, I think we'll just kind of call it a wash and it is what it is. Life happens. <laughs> and then for everything that is still ongoing for a decent amount of time. I think there's one ending like in a few days and I'll just consider that one a, as well. But for everything that still has a decent amount of time left, I will start making monthly updates probably in January. Let's go with January just because December is probably going to be a, a bit crazy. I'll start posting my monthly updates and just go on like normal. As far as what else is coming to the channel besides project panning, I have a few things that I've been working on. Before I get into what I already have planned and what I'm already working on, I need to run an idea by you guys and I need your feedback. And because it's something I've kind of been tossing around in my brain for a bit, but since I'm not super committed to the idea, it's something where I don't want to go through all the time and effort of doing something if it's not something you guys want to see. Like some of the other stuff I've planned, I don't care if you want to see it, I'm doing it. But this is something since I'm not fully invested in the idea yet, I can ask you guys. <laughs> so I've been really fascinated or slightly obsessed with budget home decor or furnishings or whatever you want to call it just budget or DIY or upcycling and so I've been considering doing a few videos on that and I don't know if this is something where it's just this is the stage of my life I'm in so I'm like super interested in that kind of thing or if it's interesting to other people as well. So if it is interesting to you, please let me know and I will actually put the effort into making one or two or maybe even three videos like that. But if it's something you're like, eh, I could do without that, then I won't make it. Simple as that. Now as far as <laughs> what I actually have coming up and you guys have no choice as to whether I make it or not, I'm actually working on a true crime series which I'm super excited about and I'm fascinated with kind of the psychology behind true behind crime and what makes a criminal and everything. So in 
this series I have planned. The first three, three or five videos, there it's not going to be four just because for some reason when I think in terms of series, I like three or five. I don't know why. Or like, it feels like a better number. I don't know. But the first three to five videos, three or five videos in the series are going to be on people who have been on the FBI's most wanted list either in the past and they got taken off for because they got caught or for whatever other reason or if I might do someone who's still on the list I haven't it's tricky to do someone who's still on the list because then they're not technically found guilty and I don't want to go accusing people if there's the risk that they aren't guilty and but it's also like if you're on the FBI's most wanted list you probably did something really bad anyway so I'm almost completely done with the first kind of script and everything the second one I have a decent chunk started but I want to get at least halfway through the second script before I film the first one. That way I have another one already in the works. So that will be probably posted in mid to late January, the first video. And then depending on how much time it takes me to do all the research with my job and everything, will dictate how often I post those videos. I want to aim for once a month, but it could very well be every other month. We'll just see. So yeah, I'm super excited about that. And then I also might be posting some more kind of comedy type videos. I have a few things that I really want to like make, so those will be coming. And I've also been considering doing some song covers and things like that. So if that's something you'd be interested in seeing, let me know on that one because I'm not also not like committed to that idea. So you have two options, two not options, but you know. And of course, panning videos are gonna be a thing always on this channel because it's me and having too much overwhelms me. Also, let me know if you want me to start talking more about cruelty-free beauty because I mentioned it a few times but then I kind of, I wouldn't say I fell off the bandwagon because almost Almost everything in my collection, with the exception of a few things, I'm either working on panning or they were gifts. So after I finished a product I'm currently panning, they will become the pan product I pan. So apart from those items, my entire makeup collection is cruelty free. So if that's something you want me to talk more about, let me know. Otherwise, I'll just keep doing what I'm doing and yeah I think that's everything this is my I kid you not this is my third time trying to film this video because every time I get so distracted about halfway through and I am praying that this time it works out so fingers crossed and if this video is a complete mess then I'll probably post it anyway because I am driving myself crazy. Er. Crazy. Er. <laughs> Let's be honest. So, yeah. Let me know on the home decor, home furnishings, whatever that.
category of video you want to call it. Let me know on that type of video and let me know on the singing videos. Let me know who your favorite criminal that's been on the FBI's most wanted list is. Who knows? Maybe it'll make the cut. <laughs> um, yeah, that's everything. As soon as my apartment is actually together, you will get the apartment tour. And yeah, I hope you guys are having a wonderful whatever time of the day it is, wherever you are. Thank you so much for sticking with me throughout everything <laughs> and my crazy absences. I feel like I keep saying I'll be better, but we all know that doesn't exactly work for me. So we'll just take it day by day, week by week, month by month. And if I disappear for an extended period of time, just assume that either I move <laughs> because that's a natural assumption or I don't know that life just got super crazy so yeah I love you guys and I'll see you in the next video